Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today I'm doing a college dorm or a residence hall, whatever you want to call it, for girls. And there's four rooms in total and they're all decorated differently. They're all kind of like customized to reflect different personalities. And then there's also a shared kitchen, a living room and bathroom. Uh, so if you want to download this a dorm build, it's technically an apartment, but if you want to download it, it's going to be up on the gallery as all my builds are. And you can find it and all my other builds by searching my username CyberdollYT. And I'll just leave a link in the info box too, so you can easily find it. Uh, but guys, don't forget to have the move objects cheat on just to make sure everything is placed properly. Because <laughs> I did use that cheat a lot in this build. Like... A lot, lot. Like <laughs> I used it to raise a ton and ton of objects. So make sure you have that on before placing. And uh, because this is an apartment, um, it's gonna be uploaded as a room. So I thought I would say that just in case some of you didn't know. But yeah, a lot of colleges and universities they do kind of provide dorm rooms for their students, but often. Quite often you have to share a room, but I kind of decided not to make double rooms just so that I could customize the rooms a bit. So as I said, there's four rooms in total and they all have the same layouts, but I did decorate them all differently. And uh, we have one like pretty girl's room. I don't, I don't know how to describe it really, <laughs> but it's kind of like a pretty girl's room. And then we have a sporty room one artsy room and one kind of like activists room something like that <laughs> so that's like the four different styles that i went for and this apartment or this dorm build is located in the arts quarter it's one of the medina studio apartments and um, i think it's one of the top it, it's one of the it's the top left apartment if i remember correctly but i don't know <laughs> my my memory is not too great but i think it's the one to the top left uh, and it it costs 800 simoleons in deposit and then you have a weekly rent of a thousand so if you move in all four sims it's it's not that much really you can fairly easily earn a thousand simoleons a week with four sims so as you can tell, the layout is the same for all of the rooms. Well, one of them is a bit different. It's the same size as the others, but it's rotated. So uh, that's the only difference. And then, and then, and they all have this kind of built-in furniture piece. Like I, I made a built-in furniture piece. I've seen a lot of dorms that have these kind of built-in wardrobes and stuff. So I did that by using the Ikea looking wardrobe and side table and I just layered them. I, I used the alt keys to move the furniture closer to each other and uh, yeah, I did raise the bed guys. Oh, we have to talk about the beds, okay? We have to mention the beds because I'm so like excited about this. <laughs> they are usable guys. The raised beds are usable and how freaking amazing is that? Like I was so happy that it worked and I had a sim um when building this uh I was building it with a sim so I could test out like while I was building so just test so that everything worked. So it is play tested and it works. How many times did I just say that? I <laughs> I don't know. Um but yeah, I'm so happy because it frees up a lot of space. It's amazing for small builds. Like these rooms are so freaking tiny and uh, they're four by three, I think. Yeah. Uh, so there's really limited space to work with. And even in real life, dorm rooms are small. Uh, I'm sure there's exceptions, but typically they are very tiny. All the ones I have seen are tiny. So <laughs> you really have to utilize that sp space well. And by moving the beds up, I was able to fit a desk underneath it. So that was just perfect. But I had to keep the chair to the right side or else uh, the sim couldn't reach the bed. Uh, but it all works. And I'm so happy with how these rooms turned out. They are kind of cluttered, but... I feel like you can't really avoid clutter in such a limited space, but yeah, 
you know me, I love my clutter anyway, so <laughs> it was fun for me. And uh, would you guys like to see another dorm build but for guys? Then just let me know in the comments, okay? Because I would love to do one, guys. I might actually do one. I really want to do another dorm build, guys. Please tell me you want it. Because uh, I had so much fun building this. Like, so, so, so much fun. But <laughs> yeah, we're almost done with these three rooms. So this was the girly, sporty, and activist's room. And next up, and the last room is the artsy one. Uh, but it's located, like, on the other side of the hall. And... Uh, but yeah, it took me quite some time here to find and pull out all the items I wanted. I was a little bit indecisive with this room. But I think it might be my favorite room, to be honest. I don't, I don't know why, but I just like it. I like all of them, but if I had to pick a favorite, this might be the one. I don't know. Oh, this is hard. I don't want to pick a favorite, okay? Oh, but guys, let me know in the comments which room is your favorite. I'm so interested to know, actually, because we all have different styles, right? So I would love to know which one of the rooms that appeal to you the most. So girly, sporty, activist, or artsy. Uh, obviously, you have to wait and see the artsy room before you can tell me, but don't forget to tell me later, okay? But yeah, I, I don't know what else to say now, like... We're almost done with this room. I spent a lot of time in this one room and yeah, I was I was way too indecisive with this one. Uh, same with the artsy one. I think I spent a lot of time in that one too. Uh, and of course, I'm recording this late at night. Again, as always, I'm still stuck in this really bad habit of just recording late at night. I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I, I can't break this habit, guys. <laughs> How how do I break this habit? If you have any like advice for me, then please tell me. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. I mean, I could force myself to record like during the day, but I I don't know. I don't know. I just I just feel like recording late at night because th that's just me. like I have the most energy late at night. It's it's weird. I know, but. I do, so I feel like recording late at night, but I'm still, even though I have, like, a lot of energy, my brain is, like, mush. <laughs> my brain is not functioning properly, but I still have a lot of energy, so I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys, but <laughs> yeah, we are done with the art activist's room, so this is the artsy room. So obviously this room has like all the things you need or an artsy sim would need. So uh, I imagine this Tim sim, this Tim, what? This sim to be like a painter, a photographer, and also a musician. So like all of the artsy things, <laughs> artsy things, all of the artsy things, like, okay, but into all the kind of artsy, um, hobbies <laughs> okay that was a long pause i am so sorry i'm so sorry okay um yeah so we have like i pull out the cameras and, and a lot of debug items for this room so a lot of pens and pencils and um, papers to like write on maybe she's a writer too but either that or like paints on and uh, we have and guitar and obviously an easel and i use this kind of what is it it's uh the dance floor but it looks like cardboard so i use that as kind of like a rug or something to put underneath the uh, easel just so that you wouldn't like spill paint on the floor i guess that <laughs> that wouldn't be good and uh, so yeah i need to pull myself together i'm so sorry guys <laughs> but yeah so now actually looking back at this room it might be my favorite but i don't i don't know um it just i just like this room it's different i haven't done an artsy room yet i i don't think i have i don't remember me doing like an artsy room so it was definitely fun to try something different and i obviously use a whole lot of debug items for this and i think i think it's so cute like i am not an artsy person myself you could say with the whole YouTube thing and but I, I don't think like, that counts it doesn't like 
I am a little bit creative maybe, but I'm not like an artsy person. I'm not very creative in other fields. Like, yes, I have a fun, a lot of fun building and I'm quite creative when building in The Sims. But outside of that, like other than that, I'm not very creative at all. So um, I don't know. It was so different to to me and who I am, but I still had a lot of fun making that room so it might actually be one of my favorites and i changed it to that like a rainbow door i i just think it fits so freaking well in an artsy room so i just had to pick that one so yeah now we're done with all of the dorm rooms uh, so for the hallway i just pulled out a bunch and bunch of flags and posters uh, and this and a cork board of course and i did actually personalize the flags above the doors like I put personalized flags above all of the doors so the girly room has a pink rainbow flag above the door and the sportsy room has an orange flag with a dumbbell and the activist has activist room has a yellow flag with a plant and last but not least the artist room has this light blue flag with a brush so uh, I just thought that was cool you know <laughs> I thought it was cute, so yeah, it, it was a nice, n nice, <laughs> nice detail and nice touch to this build. So yeah, um, and a lot of dorms have shared kitchens. I know that in some dorms you have a small kitchenette in your room, but I think it's more common to just have a shared kitchen, and they are often quite small. I mean. It depends on the size of the dorm house and the amount of rooms and students that live there. But since this is a small dorm, I kept the kitchen very small. Because it, it'd be weird to have like a huge kitchen in a dorm that holds like four students. Uh, so yeah, it only has the bare necessities, uh, which means like a stove, a fridge, a sink. It's <laughs> okay. I just realized now that I there's no free counter space guys <laughs> I forgot to leave a free counter space but you guys can just remove the cups if you want to <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't see that while I was building and I also now just realized I forget to put a trash can in I think I think I forgot yeah I, I'm sorry about that too guys like it's not the first time I forget the free counter space and I always, always, always freaking forget the trash can. Like, yeah, I don't know why, but you guys could just put one in if you want to. And uh, there was also free space for me to put in a couch and TV. So I did that. I thought it was perfect if you want to throw like awesome college parties maybe. Or maybe just hang out with friends or roomies. And, and also I made the furniture look cheap on purpose. Because let's be honest, this is not like a fancy dorm. Uh, I, I just think the furniture, these furniture screams like college dorm. So I had to use them. I feel like I had to use them. Like they fit just perfectly. But anyway guys, we only have the bathrooms left and a shower room and then this build is all done. I really hope you enjoyed this college dorm. If you did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it guys and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. This build will be up on the gallery and I'll leave a link in the info box. And don't forget to comment if you want to see a boys college dorm as well. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.